Now, later on, we're also going to be talking about special effects, and we're going to create the promised sweet vortex of light. So while we're talking about it, let me just give you a whirlwind tour, a little demo of what we're going to be doing when we get there. I'm just going to create a new blank layer, and I'm going to reset my foreground and background colors. I'm going to add some clouds automatically, and watch how easy this is. Just hit Render, Clouds. Boom, there's some clouds. Now I'm going to add some noise to this to give it some texture here. Maybe a little bit more than that. Let's make this monochromatic. Put that up a little bit more. Very cool. And I'm going to wrap this around. Let me distort this a little bit. Very cool. Now let's zoom out here and make this a little bit bigger. Very nice. And I'm going to go to blur, radio blur, zoom blur. Give that just a second. And look at that. Let's give it some more. Very cool. Then we could go in and colorize this image. Change the hue. I love blue. For some reason, a blue vortex of light really does something to me a lot more than, say, a green or a red vortex of light. So I'm going to stick with the old trusty blue vortex. Very nice. Let's change the lighting of this a little bit. Let's make this a little bit more intense. A little bit more intense in the dark areas as well. See, that's a vortex of light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I've seen a lot of vortexes of light in my day, but this one really takes the cake. At each one of those steps that I've used, from adding noise to doing the polar coordinates thing, what the heck was that? I'll tell you. All these things we're going to cover in detail. By the time this training series is over, this will be a piece of cake. It will be no big deal to create something this spectacularly awesome.